Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly tip. Today I'm going to be talking about picking your battles and that means that uh, we want to be focusing our energy on the relationships that um, where we have two willing parties to work on conflicts and to work on the relationship. If you've ever been in the position of feeling like you're the one doing most of the work on the relationship and carrying the responsibility for it, you know how frustrating that can feel. Um, often we are um, put in relationships together uh, by fate, either because we're family or we're living together um, in the same community or because we're working together. And so um, we need to be able to work effectively with each other. However, um, we don't always like each other and uh, we don't always see eye to eye. Often we have a very, very different sets of values and very different worldviews. And so it's important to be able to differentiate those relationships where you have two willing parties that are willing to work on the relationship and work through conflicts versus those relationships where you want to work something out with somebody but the other person is not willing and they potentially could be stonewalling you in a way that feels harmful. So in order to sort of assess that, I often will ask myself a few things. First of all, I'll ask myself, um, what is the willingness level of the other person? Um, the second thing I'll ask is, am I able to ask the person if they're willing to work on the relationship? Do they seem even approachable? The third thing I will ask is, do I feel safe approaching this person to share my concerns with them? And most importantly, if I'm walking around with this person living in my head where I'm playing out the conflict or uh, rehearsing uh, different scenarios of how a conversation with this person may or may not go in my head um, without ever being able to act on it or have the real conversation then chances are I need to do something about it uh, and I may not be able to work on the relationship with the other party so there is some the good news is this there is something you can do about it you're not you're not stuck uh, what I suggest is that if you do have somebody in your life like that that is causing a disturbance for you, that you can work on yourself in regards to the relationship. You don't actually need to have the other person present to do the work. Uh, and one of the ways that I do this is by um, taking the time to really self-reflect and ask myself, what is it inside of me that this person stirs or disturbs in me and do they remind me of a person from my past um, that it bring where it brings up um, emotions or feelings for me that haven't been dealt with before uh, that maybe I've repressed and and maybe this person is is bringing these things up as an opportunity for me to work through them now at this point and time um, those are two ways, um, two sort of quest big questions that you can ask yourself in regards to working through a conflict with somebody else. Um, the other thing that you can do is actually um, think about the conflict or the situation and then you can uh, physically stand up in a room, like make the shape of a triangle with you your side being at one point and the other person's side being at the opposite opposing point and stand on your own side and take your own side and literally say make sure you're in a private room so no one can hear you and you have privacy because people might think that you're crazy but um, literally just take your own side and say all the things ventilate to the person envision them standing across from you and say all the things that you want to say that you don't think you could say and just get everything off your chest when you feel like you've fully been able to have your say and have your side walk across and stand in their shoes this isn't a role play be mindful not to do this by standing in their shoes but still looking at the role from your eyes you actually are standing in their shoes and becoming them and literally trying to channel them and feel into the experience that they're having over there and once you do that then speak from their experience back to yourself envision yourself standing across from you now and say all the things that need to be said from the other side all the frustrations feelings ventilate fully if you notice yourself slipping back into your own side then physically go back and stand on your side um, and say whatever else there, there needs to be said and once you have fully said everything and there's nothing left then go back over. You might have to do this a few times where you take your side and take their side and say everything that needs to be said until you feel like that's been exasperated and there's nothing else. Then uh, what I invite you to do is 
go to the tip of the triangle and stand um, at the point uh, facing both sides. So if you were here and the other person was here, you would be you would be like a third party um, holding both sides and looking at both sides. And from that place, think about a person, an elder or a spiritual figure, someone that you respect deeply that handles conflict very, very well. And imagine that you're them and that you're looking at both these sides in this relationship from that place of wisdom. Shut your eyes if you need to and um, see what messages come through this person. Often I will use the ancestors um, and uh, connecting in with their wisdom to ask myself what it is that I need to be doing next to get messages to, to gain wisdom. And just see the relationship from this point and see what advice comes. What messages do they have for you? What advice? What do they see when they look at this relationship? And once you've done that, just take whatever messages that uh, came to you, new insights, and integrate them. Ask yourself, now what do you do? And continue to work on the relationship by working on the relationship with yourself first and just see how that shifts. Um, one of my one of my key philosophies is change your behavior and others will change their behavior towards you. Have a great week.